Hi YouTubers, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download music on your iPod and or videos depending on what you would like. Um, you can download music from iTunes if you want, but most people don't want to spend time hooking up their laptop to their computer. So there is a way to download music on here and I'm going to show you that today. The first thing you need to do is be sure you have an iPod Touch or an iPhone, uh, iPhone third generation or up, or iPod fourth generation or up. And basically, all you need is you need to go down here to uh, the App Store. See over there? Click on that. And you're going to come across this thing. It says Downloads and Downloader and they have a light version which is free and they also have a full version which is I think a dollar ninety nine which I ended up getting because it's worth it but um, basically if you get the free one you're allowed I think seven downloads and you can delete those files and save them to your computer and then re-download seven files and delete those same to your computer before you delete them that kind of a thing and the downloads the plus like the regular edition uh... it's unlimited and i just think that's more convenient and there's probably other downloads like there's a downloads free on here there's an i downloader uh, and they're free if you'd like to try those but basically you just need a software that can take a file and download it like it would on the computer like you hit open or save as on your laptop or whatever and after you found your down your app you want to download on and you've downloaded it then you go to your home button and you're gonna to go to whatever that software is so as you can see mine is right there my files is called downloads so I click on that and I'm going to pull up uh, Google on here alright and when you go to Google, there's several different websites out there where you can get uh, the different um, songs you'd like. For instance, I use mp3skull.com, but you can also use things. I know there's some called like Cohit, and I think even some uh, apps on your iPod uh, say free music, but you have to download it strictly from that source. And I like kind of picking and choosing which ones I can download. So I'm just going to type in right here this is what your downloader app kinda looks like and if you get out of that you can see at the bottom it says browser which is where you're gonna spend most of your time and uh... there's also a thing over here it says files and once you hit download which is gonna be in your downloads button right here um, you can watch it in the files and like you click on downloads and it shows you like there's all the files I've downloaded before and then I don't have any files in there right now but I'll download one here just to show you alright so we're gonna go to mp3skull.com now you need Wi-Fi or if you have an iPhone just you need to use your server alright and then You'll come to a site that kind of looks like that, and you probably can't see it very well, but there's a search bar at the top. You're going to click on that search bar, and you can type in something. I'm just going to type in preview because those are free to download. Well, technically all of this is free, but it's legal to download. And we'll just click on this file, and see you'll get files like this and you'll see over here there'll be a thing that says download play and all that and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the download and you'll get a thing that pops up like that and we'll say open, one says open a new tab one says download, one says copy and you're gonna hit the download and it'll tell you like what you should name your file and you can pick whatever you want. It tells you what type of file. It says MP3. 
you can also pick what folder you want to and you can rename folders and erase folders and all that good stuff and I'm just gonna name it whatever it is now you go over here to the files and you can see that I downloaded this black wolf loop preview it's gonna be like 30 seconds and then you just click on the file and it should start playing which there you see you can actually get audio from this website and that's mainly what I use and there's also a way to use torrents on here which I didn't know how before but um, there's a certain website you can use you need an online BitTorrent client which basically all that means is that when you get a torrent you need something so the seeders of that torrent can download the file onto a website so you can download the huge file because basically all a torrent is is it's a smaller file that contains a big file that other people which are called seeders actually give you the information for that file and then you can download it now uh, be aware that some websites with torrents are uh, harmful so just be really careful which sites you use I know most of the time the Pirate Bay is pretty reliable and there's also one called catdep.ph that I use a lot and um, basically what this is you can download almost any type of file like if you're on your computer uh, you can download program files it, you can download word files photos music video about anything and the first step is you're gonna need that online BitTorrent client which most people just use uTorrent, UTorrent on their laptop but they may not have the freedom to do that on their iPod. So what you're going to do is you need to go to this website. It's called zbigs.com. That's Z-B-I-G-Z.com. And you're going to sign up for this profile. It's absolutely free. And when you do it, you're going to see there's a thing that has like a search bar where you can type in the file you want. And then you hit go over here. And once you hit go, it'll start downloading that torrent and then once the downloads the torrent it gives you an option there's a preview and there's a download and I think there may even be a delete if you don't if you aren't happy with that torrent you want to download and you can delete it if you want but if you hold down the download button and it starts downloading and then once it downloads it'll show up in your files but the, here's the catch with this downloads app you can't copy and paste torrent files in there so what you're gonna need is a uh, another app like most everyone has Safari on here so what you can do is go to ZBigs on um, you can go to ZBigs on here and just to show you that you can copy and paste something like I'm just gonna type in blah 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 for example um, okay and then I'm gonna copy so you can hold on to that and then you have an option that says select all and then you hit copy and then after you do that you can back out so hit cancel and then right here just hold down until you see like that magnifying glass come up and let go and you'll see thing it says paste you hit paste and then you can kinda see that it started to type in something so you can do because it's an online bit torrent and doesn't depend on the app you can close out of Safari and then come over to downloads and it'll already be downloaded and then you can download it there kind of a pain but it's still a way you can do it and um, like I said I've used it it's worked fine I've gotten some really nice files online um, so I hope this information was helpful to you whether you just want to download files may not even be mp3s but just any file you want offline you can use the downloads app to download that or if you want to use a BitTorrent client I showed you how to do that. So I thank you all and appreciate you for watching. Check out some of my other videos. If you have an iPod Touch, I can show you how to make that basically an iPhone on Wi-Fi. 
and stay tuned for more videos, and have a nice day, guys. Thanks.